like in leadership, it's very important that you uh, show people that you care. I also think that it's super important to be transparent. Oh, ain't good enough, so you gotta be great, and I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Doing what I love for life, and I'll pay the price, and not stopping even if the shit kills me, even if it kills me. Okay, yes, three, let's give me the countdown. Two, one. And one. That was the <laughs> countdown. And this is episode 187 of the Matt Gron Talks Show. And my name is Matthias Grunborg, aka Matt Gron. And here I talk about my scale up journey building my company from nothing to something. And of course, with me as usual, my dear friend and co host, Svea Malina Lenshaw. <laughs> Hi, Matthias. Hi, Svea. Happy Monday, new week, and uh, welcome everyone uh, if you have been here before, but also if you're new here, this is where entrepreneurship runs smack into reality. And Matthias and I, we smack into reality three times every week on Monday, Wednesday, and on Friday, and we have a whole framework in place. Matthias, that's your job. Yes, we have three times, and it sounds bam, 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 yeah. <laughs> and uh, we have the framework here. So every Monday we talk about self-development and I share my own journey growing as a human being and a leader. And then every Wednesday we talk about all the things I'm learning in the entrepreneurial process, running there on a weekly basis. And then every Friday we talk about my weekly self-inventory and we actually go through if there's anything I could have done differently. And we also talking about learnings and yeah it's a documenting vlog and it's all about uh, thinking about the week and uh, how should i say you always say it's my diary, diary. So, yeah. yes, <laughs> uh, exactly and uh, yeah and then we, we are also celebrating the victories, victories of the week and um, i was just yeah, waiting that's, for uh, it that's like what yeah, my move yeah, I, I <laughs> I took another way there. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, confused. Yeah. Confused so, you. Friday is about diaries and uh, victories. Okay, but today yeah. is our Monday episode. So, another Monday, another leadership topic today. And yes. it's about trust. So, Oof. you know, when you read about leadership, you know, all the books out there, I think probably in every leadership book, it tells you trust is very important. And also, you yourself said that one of the most important traits for you personally is that. Yeah, you have trust, trust uh, that the team can trust you. You can trust your team. That was right, right? You can trust your team. They can trust you. Trust is important. Let's put it that way. And now I want to yeah. ask you, what do you think? Why is trust so important for you being a leader? Um, yes, I think, uh, I mean, trust, that's the gateway to uh, actually build anything in around communication. So, uh yeah, that, that's why it's important. It's like a cornerstone for communication and, and leadership, I would say. And and I think, um, I mean, uh, I mean, you, you either trust someone or you distrust them, mm. right? There is no like middle ground. Uh, true. Uh, so... Uh, <laughs> How is it when you, when you yeah. meet someone? Um, I say that like halfway trusting yeah so. yeah but it's true i never thought about it. that is true like i either trust someone or i don't it, it, it's 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 yeah. true but if you meet someone or you know someone let's take it from leadership perspective here you know someone is uh, maybe starting at Igo moon how do okay. you go about trust do you grant someone 100 percent trust from the start um you just you know want to be positive say i trust you or are you someone who is more like mm, you have to gain my trust for it. let's see how this goes what's your approach there like I mean, the option one for me, uh, uh, option two, I then something is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Like uh, sounds like wrong, a a bad hiring process to <laughs> like <laughs> hire people that you uh, don't, don't trust. trust. <laughs> they, need, they need to prove themselves before you start trusting them. <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah it was just a thought, yeah. a perspective. Yeah. Okay. Yes. And Let's, let's take it in the other way around, maybe um, from from your perspective. So okay. you as a leader, when people, you know, start at Moon or maybe they have been there for longer, you're their leader. How do you earn that trust and how do you maintain that? What's your recipe there? I think you need to uh, always be 
like you need to to show that you're vulnerable and i think you also like in the leadership it's very important that you uh, show people that you care mm. and uh, uh, i also think that um, uh, it's super important to be transparent and like um, yeah i think uh, yeah definitely three 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 different th- things that is important like vulnerable like you that you care pay attention listen mm-hmm. to people and then also always le- uh, lead with uh, transparency yeah and and um yeah and also i think i have a fourth yeah. one even i was just thinking about con- there's a lot more probably. yeah 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 yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I was just thinking of consistency also i feel like if someone yeah. is consistency consistency consistently earning my trust and i see okay you know matthias know what he matthias knows what he is doing and uh, i can rely on him i think consistency for me personally is also one of those things that w- would be important for me to continue trusting someone for sure yeah yeah what do you mean with consistency Mm. like you mean i'm um, consistent showing up uh, at work or also but also consistency uh, with how you how you act you know or your opinions that you're not you know like this you're changing um from one day to another you have like a course you know that you're holding it i know okay i know what he's doing i can i can trust the process i think that mm-hmm. that's that's it for me um and yeah, now we've talked about, you know, that <laughs> whenever I say it, it sounds so so complicated, but, you know, the <laughs> trust that has to go both ways, right? Like you yeah. trusting your team, the team trusting you. Um, yeah, or an individual. It doesn't just need to be a team. I'm yeah. uh, not, uh, that might be the sum of uh, the individual trust you have built. Yeah. Right? True. Uh, like, I mean, it's not just a leader and then a team. Yeah. There is probably like a leader and a lot of different individuals yeah, in the team. Yeah, true. And lots of individual and, uh, relationships you're building over time. That's that's uh, that's what I mean. Yeah. It's not it's not like one relationship between the, me and a team or a company. It's basically a little bit more complicated yeah. than that, I think, or yeah. simple. Depends yeah. how you like to see yeah. it. But uh, I think every, you know, uh, like... Um, Every person has uh, their own individual, you know, needs and drivers and and things you need to pay attention and and consider as a leader, yes. Yeah, and maybe, you know, sometimes in our conversations I get some inputs magically from somewhere, but uh, I was also thinking maybe trust in a way starts with yourself. I feel like how should, how would you expect someone else to trust you if you don't trust yourself? So I think it's also a good start to trust yourself and uh, you know we've, we've talked about that you know don't listen too much about what people tell you or what you can or can't do i think it's, yeah. it's important to start there i feel so that other people can trust you as a leader why are you smiling like that should i be the the new leader or <laughs> do you think it's it's not right what she's saying here <laughs> i think it's right i was thinking about uh fake it uh, till you make it or... yeah <laughs> <laughs> like uh, yeah why not yeah, I... I mean I, I think sometimes it's, uh, you know, I think it's very important to trust yourself as a leader, of course, but sometimes you need to do things mm-hmm. before you start trusting yourself as well, yeah. you know, um, yeah. just um, threw yourself out there. Yeah, uh, it's. I think as as a leader or as an entrepreneur or as in other parts in life, it's a lot of those times that you have to do things before you're ready. I feel there's also what people always say about yeah. getting kids. Like, you don't, you're you not ready. You're ready, you know, when, when the kid is coming. It's what I hear so often now because I'm in the age, you know, where lots of people around me become children. And yeah. I asked them and said, no, we weren't ready, but we were ready once it was there. And I feel it's in a lot of things. It's also with, you know, freelancing, you know, both David and I are freelancing. And it was for both of yeah. us was like, we were not ready, but we just did it. So <laughs> now we just figured out along the way. And I feel that's... Uh, the magic recipe in a lot of things in life and maybe also with with trusting yourself you know you fake it until you make it that's my takeaway yeah <laughs> with this episode <laughs> okay yeah uh, do you have anything to add to this trust um topic today or is it a wrap i think that's a wrap okay then let's leave it there yeah. and you guys thank you for watching
What's your opinion about trust? Let us know in the comments. And also, if you have any ideas for future episodes, please reach out and yeah, hit the bell, subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. And thank you, Matthias. And I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you, Svea. Of thank course. you guys for watching. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.